Vicky Bird. Bird. She, Bird. She had a stroke the other night. The Parrish family, their house burnt this week in Dixon. Mike Crick. Good and art for Jean. Connie and Perry Richmond. Mr. and Miss Yoder. Lisa Mendoza. <laughs> Elijah and Sue Moore. Second back there, I want you to remember my boss's his family, uh, Chambers family, Henderson. Uh, he lost his dad last Saturday. Chambers. 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 Missy and James Painter and their family. Charity Hoggard. Hoggard. Hoggard? Yeah. And Bill Cord. Chris and David Rickstraw. Patty Littles. We've been praying for her. She's still going through it with her diabetes and stuff. And uh, Dad, he's got some more things going on this week. Pray God to bring us light. We need to do God's blood. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, Mike Joe. I talked to him yesterday. He's dealing with some things. C.T. Fuller. C.T. Fuller. Fuller. Alan Boyles. And my parents. Your parents? Mm hmm. My brother Rick and my daughter in law Heather. Mm-hmm. We really, really do. That's true. Uh, and, you know, just like with my aunt my uncle and Jill and them coming back, you know, I mean, it's been a spell since they've been here, but they're still family. Yeah. You know, and they were welcome to family when they came in. So, mm -hmm. you know, don't think, don't think just because maybe it's your quiet and you're sitting there and nobody says a whole lot to you, you're missed when you're not here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when you get up here and look out there, when you get used to somebody being here and there and then out there. I remember my daughter, April. Is there any 
anybody else?
29, please. Praise God. Y'all remember the day you got saved? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh. You remember when you came down to an altar? It may not have been this one. Did you feel that much different? Yeah. <laughs> Unloaded everything right there at Jesus' feet. And I remember the first time the Holy Spirit fell upon me. I wanted that every day of my life. Yeah. You know, and about two weeks ago, Brother Jackie Dale got up here and preached, and he told us each one how we can do that. We can have that same feeling if we just decide to walk in the anointing all the time. All the time. Praise God. Page 229. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Praise God. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After I wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Shadows dispelling with joy, I am telling. He made all the darkness depart. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Cross the Savior made me whole. My sins were washed away, and my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Born of the Spirit with light from above, into God's family divine. Justified fully through God. Oh! 
summons me to victory beneath the cleansing floods. I heard the loudest healing of His cleansing power revealing that He made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. And then I cried, Dear Jesus, come and heal my broken.
boy. Come on up here. <laughs> so simple 
It means so much to me. Uh, it's, um, you know, we have a food ministry. We get to go all over. And God just can't keep sending us out farther. And, and uh, we don't get to see. <laughs> What'd you say, G? That was prophesied. Uh, yeah, well, Jabez. Yeah. Expand the territory. Yeah. You probably all know that story. If you don't, it was Mountain Ministries. And my brother Bud uh, called me up one day and said, because uh, I was on their board, and, and said, we want to change the name of the ministry. I said, well, that's fine with me. I said, what are you going to call it? They said, Jabez. And I thought, what? Because <laughs> I'd never gotten into the, the Jabez part of the Bible again you know, when it talks about Jabez, who he was. But he prayed that for the Lord to extend his territory, expand his territory. And I know Judy sent out, uh, I tell the story, she sent out seven letters to seven churches. Is that right? Wow. Okay. Got one reply from the biggest church. In, oh, yeah. We're talking about they probably run 5,000 on Sunday. Yeah, Lexington. On Sunday morning. They have to have shuttle buses to get their people out of the parking lot. In yeah. The but they responded, and we went over, and I'm they cutting this way praying. short. But they had been praying yeah. to help someone. To help someone. My, my letter, see how God works. <laughs> That's God. That's the way he does things. Well, it's about being obedient. Yes. Too. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, in fact, in heaven, you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah. This could have been very different. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Right. But they... Uh, it went on to where uh, they had to have, or Jabez had to have uh, two 26-foot box trucks, one to go over like every two weeks. They would fill it up, take the empty over there. That's how much goods they were getting. So they could help that area over there. And uh, before my brother's passing, he asked if we would take over. If we would take over that ministry. And, of course, uh, we weren't moving to... Martin County, Kentucky. Uh, nobody moves to Martin County, Kentucky. <laughs> out of it. But anyhow, uh, I said we will we will take the name and we'll do with what God tells us. And the food thing come around, and uh, that's what God told us to do, which we knew nothing about. And He just kept bringing people into our lives, and it just expanded. But anyhow, the uh, we got to take a bunch of stuff over to, uh, and we've got to meet a lot of people, uh, some of them fairly famous, you know, and, and uh, which doesn't matter to us, but they know a lot of people, and, they, and so it can go to help a lot of other people. But uh, Primitive Quartet, if you I don't, somebody may know who they are, but they've become really good friends of ours, and uh, we were over there unloading a bunch of, of chicken, I don't know, 11,000 pounds, I think is what we took over there. We were on their church property, and... I was standing on the back of that truck, the lift truck, and uh, the uh, there's three brothers in that group, if you know the Primitive Quartet, the Riddles, and Larry. I didn't know he was behind me, come up behind me, give me a big beer, and pick me up off the ground, was rubbing my belly, Kathy said, I don't remember that part. And he he, uh, he actually kissed me on the back of the neck, said, I love you, brother. And I about had a running fit off the back of the truck. And I said, well, I love you too, man. And, but they took us out from there to where some of that food was going. It was going to an orphanage. Mm -hmm. It was right. going, you know, to some recovery centers. It was just going, you know, to the right people. And uh, well, the Lord showed me the vision. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And it was four rivers running off of a hill. Yep. And it was red, like red, and it was north, south, east, and west. Well, that'd be That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, okay, let's hear you sing. Yes. <laughs> well, I, okay. And, and as we were leaving, you know, and we thank him for, you know, so, you know, we don't need to know where this stuff's going because God tells us where to bring it. So if he tells us where to bring it, he knows that y'all are going to do the right thing with it. And he just, he said, you know, brother, God's got a record book. And it's stuck. And I remember, they got a song, the record book. I never really listened to it. That was it. <laughs> All right, so here it is in, 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 uh, with no music. But. To be well known of men I might not ever be I'm sure my name will not go down in history There'll be no marble plaques to tell of my good deeds 
nor any great parades to honor me. But there's a record book my name is written in. It was recorded there when I was born again. No one can blot it out. It's sealed forevermore. It's in that book of life kept by the Lord. For every deed I do, for every word I say, there is a record kept until the judgment day. My name will not be lost, misplaced or overlooked, for it's kept safely in God's record book. But there's a record book my name is written in. It was recorded there when I was born. No one can blot it out. It's sealed forevermore. It's in that book of life kept by the Lord. No one can blot it out. It's sealed forevermore. It's in that book of life kept by the Lord. I know it's really simple, so probably the old 